Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that continue to do well. And honor to you, brothers, that have labored in truth and sincerity. And Shalom on to the future six sisters. Shalom on to the speckled bird brethren out there. You know that scattered around the other nations. You know, but your sea line goes back to uh, Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. Shalom on to you, brethren, too. Okay. And um, I'm going to get a quick lesson in. You know, I'm going to mainly read 2nd Edris. You know, I'm going to get into 2nd Edris. Um, you know, I have some points to make, you know, through the Spirit, the Lord is kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of fired up, you know, like I got some points I could make with these scriptures, so, you know, I'm going to get straight into it, you know, uh, and what motivated me to do this lesson, you know, was, you know, this video I watched from the, from the brother, you know, uh, out there in New York, uh, I believe it's GMS Awakening 144 by, I believe, um, or Awakening 144 by, or Awakening 144, I can't remember, one of those, I believe, you know, his video he made motivated me, um, I can't think of the title right now at the moment, and, uh, and, what, and uh, also the Apostles Demon this year, you know, 2023 being a hopeful year, um, all properties come to pass, okay, so this, this is what really motivated me to do this video, and uh, I'm going to read some scriptures, and I'm going to have some points, okay, about, you know, you know, basically, I told you what inspired me to do this video, so I'm gonna have some points for you know this year, basically. Okay, the mindset we should have. Okay, so that's basically what I'm trying to put across. All right. So let me just get my first script real quick. You know, I didn't have this on my notes, but I want to get this script and get a preset real quick. You know, um, I got a point. You know, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna read Second Ezra eight and verse. Um. I'm going to read verse 1, then I'm going to skip down to verse 3, because I got a point. 2 Edges 8 and verse 1, and he answered me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. Okay? This world is for, uh, you know, for many. You know, these wicked-ass people. But you want to be part of that world to come for few. You want to be part of that category. You want to be part of that few. Okay? You want to be, um, you know, you're, you, you shouldn't want to be part of this world. You no, know, it's a blessing that, you know, I thought about, uh, you know, uh, um, if the world hated you, uh, just know that the world hated me first. You know, and talk about the Lord, you was shy, okay? And that's a good sign. Because if the world hates you, that means you're in the right spirit, okay? Scriptures go into, I think it's the same, the same script, basically, uh, if you are of the world, the world will love its own, okay? So, really, the goal is to be, you know, um, against this world, okay? We don't want no love from this world, okay? It's a, basically, it's a good sign that, you know, we don't get love on this side. It's a good sign, all right? You want to be part of that few, okay? Um, I'm going to skip down to verse 3. Verse 3, and it reads, uh, Slocky, if that's loud in the background. Verse 3, there be many created, but few shall be saved, okay? So, the few that's going to be saved is the, you know, the 144,000. That's, that's going to be the governing, the governing, the governing body for the next eon. Okay, because this is just an eon. This, the world not going to end. Like, the world itself is not going to end. And that's scriptural too. Okay? But the world's not going to end. It's just the age. You no, know, that goes back to, you no know, eon. The age of Esau, basically. This right now is Esau time. Okay? And, and, and um, you know, you want to be the few that makes it out the first round. You don't want to die in Paris with punk-ass E. Okay? You know, I want to say this too. You know, you wake up with the crocodile, the Holy Spirit on you, man. You know, don't uh, don't take it for granted, man. Take full advantage. All right. And I'm saying this before uh, before I even say that to anybody. I'm saying that to myself first and foremost, man. Okay. Cause this is a fight, man. All right. But if you wake up with the crocodile, you got the most benef you got the most beneficial thing life could provide you. Okay. So take advantage. All right. Your flesh might be on some bullshit, whatever you might feel like not doing this, doing that. But if you know deep down inside in your spirit that whatever you do is going to benefit your spirit, your soul, at the end of the road, just do it, man. All right? Because now, you know, the reason why I'm, I want to do this lesson is because now this year, you know, brother, us brethren, we, we understand that this is not the real new year. Because the Lord, our Lord wasn't born in the wintertime, man. All right? He was born in springtime when stuff is getting is lively, not when stuff is dead. 
Okay, so we understand that, but the the, the whole energy shifted though. You, you could feel it. You know that it's getting tight. You know this could easily be the year. All right. So I want to say this: it's never time to play with the Lord. It's never time to BS. All right. So I'm not trying to say, you know, oh, it's time to really get serious now. It's always time to get serious for y'all, about Shmuel Shai. Always. But we're so close, so tight. It's no time for. I want to say, I guess. I ain't gonna say I guess. I'm gonna say it like this: for unnecessary slip-ups, unnecessary B BS. It's, it's, it's no time for that shit. Okay, because we're going to, you know, just man going to fall, but he's going to get back up. All right. But there's no time for unnecessary BS, no unnecessary slip ups, uh, uh, um, getting in your feelings, you know, letting your emotions control you over the spirit. Okay. There's no, there's no room for that shit, man. It's time to be, you no know, uh, uh, get, get, get solid, man, for, for your house shy, you know, for our husband to get back because we'd be confident that we will be part of that number. Okay. I'm going to get the preset now. Okay, I'm going to read it and give the precept. I don't want to speak too much. Second Andrews 8 and verse 3. There be many created, but few shall be saved. Okay, and I got a precept real quick on Galatians real quick. All right, then I'm going to go to my scripts that I have. And uh, Lord willing, this video will be edifying. This is Galatians 3 and verse 12. Put on therefore as the elect of God. Yeah, how about Shemiah Shai? Holy and beloved. Holy goes into separate. Okay. So, you know, the Lord put a, a special spirit in you, within you. To understand that you see the bigger picture basically you're, you're prudent okay you because that word basically goes into seeking you you, you see the uh, future okay i can't remember exactly how it goes on google and a matter of fact i want to know how that goes because i'm speaking on it so let me get it real quick it says acting with or showing care and thought for the future okay so no stay prudent man Okay, because that's how they, that's you staying prudent and you caring about the future. Um, that's you putting on the as the elect. Okay, because um, how do you how do you show that you care about your future to the Lord? You keep on studying. Um, you keep being brotherly. So I can, you know, study show thyself approved. Isaiah thirty three and six. Uh, uh, keep being showing brotherly love. Don't let this flesh overcome you, man. Okay? Look, stay focused, stay prudent, and keep um, uh, um, seeking righteousness. Even if you fall, even if you feel like shit, even if you, you know, you're like, damn, I I, I, I was wrong, you no, know, to a brethren or whatever, or, or, or whatever, okay? It's like you. Um, just keep going and keep fighting for y'all about Shemiel Shai. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let yourself stop you, okay? Especially, I'm going to say, especially don't let yourself stop you, because really, Hey, the hardest battle is fucking yourself, man. The hardest battle is, is dealing with your damn self, man. All right? You just got to keep it a band, man. All right? But, um, you know, being prudent is basically you putting it on as the elect. Because that's what the elect going to be doing. The elect going to be prudent. The elect going to care about the spiritual things over the carnal things. Okay? The elect going to understand is a benefit uh, of studying. is a benefit for being brotherly. is a benefit for sticking, sticking with the script. You know, no matter how no matter how hard it get, just stick with the script and the Lord got you. Okay? Galatians 3 verse 12. Put on therefore as the elect of God. Yahweh Bashmiah Shai, holy and beloved. Okay? Just stay separate from this world. Because that's what that word means, holy. Separate. Okay? And it's nothing better than being separate from this wicked ass, ugly ass, nasty ass world, man. Okay? This queendom. Alright? And be and be loved, bowls of mercies, kindness, humble, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. Okay. Um it says bowls of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering. You know, just hey, uh just wait on to wait on, wait for the Lord, be patient. This could be the year, but you no, know, I'm just I just want to say this too. No matter how long the Lord takes to come back, just keep on being patient, keep keep being prudent. Basically, that word I just I broke that word down. Just stay prudent, no matter how long the Lord takes to come back. But this could easily be the year, though. Okay, this could easily be the year. All right. So basically, no matter how, no matter how long if you feel like the Lord gonna take to get back, no matter if you feel like he's about to be here right now, no matter if you, if you feel like he's gonna be you no know, longer, whatever. You know, we don't really we don't know at the end of the day. I'm gonna have a point. Basically, just stay prudent, no matter how you feel. All right, that's the whole point. So now let's go to my uh script because I. I don't know how it's 10 minutes in, 
doesn't feel like I was talking for 10 minutes. Second Ezra 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I told thee before. Okay. Um, bear with me real quick. Slocky. Let me look at my notes real quick. Um, okay, okay. Second Ezra 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Okay. So let's just keep on measuring time diligently in itself. Let's just stay on your watch. You know, you got the Rakakadash. Hey, what else is it to do? What else is it to do? Nothing really. Just stay on your watch. You stay on your watch gonna keep your spirit sharp. All right. You know, um, measure out of time diligently in itself, and what thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I told thee before. And we you know the Lord. You know the way we know the Lord is close is by um, you know, measuring the, measuring the time diligently. You know, World War, the rumors of wars. You know, the Karagma speak is getting spoken of. It's so freaking evident. That's the damn, you know, M-A-R-K. It's so evident, man. And if the Lord put that spirit within you to understand, and you 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 know who the who the true men of the Lord, the apostles, you know, uh, you know who the true men of the Lord are. Um, 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 you know, and it goes to you know apostles, the apostle, apostle, uh, apostle Tahar and and uh, and the apostles, um, um, um a great a great millstone, Salakia, okay. The Lord bless you with that. That's a blessing. Um, 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 you understand the karagma. That's the real, that's the, that's the mark. Okay. So with that, just keep on being diligent and keep on watching. Cause the, with that, with you believing that those are the true men in the Lord and that's the, and that's the, and that's the mark of the, of the, you know what? Um, that's a good, good, a very great sign. Okay. So just keep on being diligent and keep on watching because the Lord, um, is dealing with you. Okay. All right. Humbly saying it's different. It's a difference from being Proud and being humble. I mean, uh, 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 being confident. Okay, I'm just the reason. What I'm the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying is because that's a good sign. You the M A R K. That's the mark to. I mean, the the C H to the I to the P. That's the M A R K. Okay, you believe in that. That's the Lord dealing with you. You you truly believe the apostles of Great Millstone are the true men of the Lord. That's the Lord dealing with you. Okay, because those are the true men of the Lord, and that is the mark straight up. All right. So you believe in that. That's a very great sign. So, no boom, bam, boom. Like I just said right now, you know all that. I don't know why I said that, boom, bam, boom. But anyways, uh, you know, you, the Lord blessing you with that understanding, that firm understanding, just be diligent and keep watching, okay? And keep and just keep on your watch. And the Lord going to bless you because you already got the right mindset anyways. So just do your part, okay? Um, Call all y'all about Shemal Shai. It's 144. Call all y'all about Shemal Shai. Okay. Um, and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I told thee before. Verse 2. Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Okay? Like I said, it was no it was never no time to play with the Lord. It was never no time to BS or nothing. I'm not trying to even say it like that. But the closer the closer we get, like I said, there's no time for unnecessary slip-ups there's no time to be um unnecessary i'm gonna just say like that unnecessary slip-ups man all right i'm gonna just keep it like that all right um let me continue because when the lord come back it ain't gonna be no talking when the lord come back it's gonna be did you do did you do the work you know uh what was you doing okay were you being diligent were you staying on your watch you know when the, when the, uh, 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 let me get this script before I lose it. Quick one real quick. Mm. <clears throat> A quick one, Matthew 24 and verse 40, Matthew 24 and verse 46. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, when he cometh shall find so doing. You know, um, You know, that's one of them. You know, when the Lord come back, you know, um, 
you know, when the Lord come back, you know, the Lord is going to be pleased with you, you know, uh, watching, you know, staying on your watch. Okay. I got another one, Proverbs 8, verse 34, because that's not the one I wanted. I can't find the one I want, but I'm going to get these because these are good too. Blessed is the man that heareth me watching daily at my gates, waited at my post of my doors. And it's like it, I was not the right one. But, you no, know, the point is, basically, um, the scripture I'm trying to look for is, you know, blessed is the man that, you know, the Lord find watching on, um, let me see, let me try to find it. I don't want to uh, butcher it. I'm, I'm tripping. It was Luke 12. I just have to go to the next verse. I'm tripping. Salaki on my end. This is Luke 12, verse 37. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you, that he shall uh, uh, gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Okay? So basically is what I wanted to get is blessed are the servants, you know, uh, uh, blessed, those ser blessed are those servants whom the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, when he cometh, shall so fine watching, you know, you're still in your watch, you know, no matter how long it, it took the Lord to come, you're still in your watch. I'm going to read this, Luke 12, verse 38, and if he shall come in the second watch or come in the third watch and find them, so blessed are those servants. So you on your watch, no matter how you feel, no matter how your flesh feel, no matter how, no matter how, you, I'm going to say it like that, no matter how your flesh feel, you're on your watch, man. You believe in Yahweh Shemel Shai. No matter how you feel, you're still on your watch. That's how you're going to get blessed. That's you putting on as the elect, man. Okay? Um, verse 3, back in 2nd Edges 9 and verse 3. And Salaki is probably going to be a little longer than I expected this video. Salaki, but edification, you got to go out. Um, verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and upwards of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high speak of those things for, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So the Lord is more than freaking uh sake and more than uh fair, man. Okay? The Lord is putting us on game. The Lord letting us know it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be the most worst, it's gonna be the worst time on ever on planet Earth. The Lord's letting us know. Okay, and the closer and closer we get, you know, and the Lord bless you with the Rakadash, the Holy Spirit. You know, I'm talking about I'm just I'm just strictly with brothers. You got the Rakadash, Holy Spirit, man. Um no time to lack, no uh, no time for unnecessary BS. I keep saying that shit. Just keep, let's keep on pushing. Don't let don't let your iniquities weigh you down. Basically, what I'm trying to say, you feel like you I feel like you feel like you piece of shit or whatever. Don't let that weigh you down. Just get back up and just keep pushing and keep on pushing His Word. Keep on studying. Keep on reading. Keep on doing stuff for your spirit, no matter how you feel, because it's going to benefit you at the end of the day. That's you putting on as the elect, man. Okay. Um. Yeah, the point is made with that. Let me just continue. Uh, let me see, verse 5, for like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, and the Lord is, if you, if you tapped in the spirit, the Lord is, is with his man that is serving him in truth and sincerity. Okay, so why not just keep on serving the Lord in truth and sincerity and, and just keep fighting for Yahweh Shai? Because if you, if, if you read the scriptures, it's plain that the Lord is going to be with his man that was truly fighting for him. Okay, during the grace period. You was truly, truly trying to get right. The Lord going to protect them, okay? Just because the wicked motherfuckers look like they have a, a, a victory right now, okay? Um, 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 all that shit is in vain, okay? The, the most important thing on this, if you were Israelite man, really you should be down here serving the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, okay? That's the only thing that's going to benefit you at the end of the day, okay? No matter how you feel, no matter if you don't think it's going to benefit you, yes, it's going to benefit you. You serving the Lord, you studying, you reading, you on the highways and byways, you being brotherly and sticking to that script. That's what's going to benefit you. All right. And we got to be more even on point now. The closer and closer the Lord comes, the, the closer and closer the Lord is. Okay. Got to stay sharp, man. You got to stay sharp to feed the flock. You got you to stay sharp when the Lord comes back. You got to stay sharp, you know, for your damn self. You got to stay sharp for your family if you have one on this side. You got to stay sharp, man. Okay. Because it, it doesn't feel good. Being a fool, you know, <laughs> ask you a question, you don't know the answer, nah, it, it just, hey, stay sharp for Yahweh Shemel Shai, man, and you, and you gonna be straight, okay?
but any uh the point is made on that you know i want to keep on saying the same thing even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and ending and endings and effects and signs okay um yeah that was, that was the point so I'm, I'm gonna just hurry up and get these scriptures i didn't want to make it too long i, I feel like you know the spirit probably got about your mouth shy what i'm saying is helping it's edifying Lord willing, of course, but Lord willing, Lord willing, I hope it is. Okay, so second address 14 and verse 13. Now therefore set thy house in order and reprove thy people. Okay. So uh I bring this out to um, you know, when he came into this truth, you was supposed to put your house in order, you know, regardless, anyways, okay. But now if you got a family that they they say they believe or whatever, you've got a woman, she says she believe, you know. Um, um, hey, uh, uh, it's time to just, you know, be more strict on that person. All right. And what I mean by that is like, it, it, let's, get, let's get better on the diet. You know, and this goes for if you got a woman or not, if you got a family or not. So if you do, it's, it's for them too. If you don't, it's for you. Regardless, it's, regardless, it's going to be for you. So it's time to get your diet right. And I'm saying, when I say you, I'm talking about myself first from it's time to get your diet right. Uh, cause you getting your diet right. It's getting your mind right. It's time to, it's, it, it keeps your mind sharp. So get your diet right. Uh, drink, drink more water type shit. If you have any brother that have a problem with drinking water or anything, I don't think a brother should have a problem with that. No, but it's time to get your diet right because you having your diet right is going to equal to the spirit. Okay. Get some herbs, work out. Okay. And the reason why I say if you have a woman, hey, put her on game too. Uh, uh eat, eat right. Work out. Um, 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 uh, um. Try to put a little more little, little spiritual bugs in her ear or whatever because if if that person not with you, I understand your works is going to follow. It's going to protect your family too. But, you know, still sharpen your household mind too, okay? More more now than ever, okay? So that's the point and reason why I'm bringing that out, all right? Have everybody on point, all right? No matter how they feel, if they're don't if they not with it, it is what it is. The, the, the energy behind it. It was beneficial, though, okay? But anyways, uh, now therefore set thy house in order and approve thy people. Cover such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. So no matter how they feel about it, hey, renounce corruption. Tell them what it is because they might not understand right now. They might get offended, but it might click, okay? And, and, and the reason why I clicked is because you put that energy out there, okay? And then if you don't have a family, hey, just for yourself, diet, working out. You know what I'm saying? I tell some myself first and foremost, cause that, that that that's health as a prophet. You gotta be health. You gotta you gotta be on your health. You gotta have a sharp mind, and that equals health. Okay. Um. Um. Twenty three minutes. Okay. I'm gonna try to. I'm not gonna try to rush, but I don't want it to be too long. Second, just fourteen and verse fourteen. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Okay. Let go from the mortal thoughts, man. Okay. You going through some shit. You know. You're an overthinker. Brother that know me, I'm an overthinker. Hey, don't let the overthinking take thy crown, man. Because that shit make you feel like, yo, this is, man, I, I know. You know, if you overthinking, you going, feel like you're going insane or whatever, just put your burdens on your how about Shmuel Shai. And that's you letting go of mortal thoughts because you leaning on your, you like, I could, I could, get, I could, uh, I could, I could do this myself. I could get these thoughts out my, whatever, whatever you, your flesh tell you. Nah, that's not the right way. That's kind of being proud if you're in. If you really think about it, just put your burdens on your Yahweh Shai, okay? Just lean on your Yahweh Shai and, and, and pray to the Lord Yahweh Bashmael Shai to get it, to get all them weird ass thoughts out your head and just stick with the script. And I'm promise you the Lord gonna bless you, okay? And as you let go on the mortal, I'm, I'm gonna read it again. I got other points. Second, just 14 verse 14. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Yeah, put off the weak nature. Don't let anxiety depression that's a demon don't let none of that stop you if you feel like if you feel that way don't sit there and just and just just mope pray to the lord and uh, and you praying to the lord that's going to sharpen your mind because the lord knows you know what, he, what you're going through the lord knows what you're going through so just stay sharp just stay sharp um 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 um, um so like yeah, i got to stress so on so uh let's talk to somebody um you know but stay sharp though Okay, uh, 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 Slocky, I lost my points. Let me just, but I believe, you know, 
I ain't gonna say I believe it. That that makes sense. What I said. So second Ezra fourteen and verse fifteen. Okay. And, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, and haste thee to flee from these times. Okay. That's basically what I was trying to say. Hey, that that matches. You know, just put your burdens on the Lord. Okay. Um, that's scriptural, you know, lean upon the Lord, put your burdens upon, I'm going to just get it because I'm even speaking on it, you know, I know it's longer than I thought, I'm sorry, it's like here, but, okay, okay, Isaiah 55, no, it's not Isaiah, Psalms 55, in verse, um, 22, okay, my phone hurry up in a uh, low Psalms 55 verse 22 cast thy burdens upon the Lord Yahweh Bashmiel Shai and he shall sustain thee okay and what's that word sustain mean the sea you know comfort okay he, he gonna strength or support physically or mentally mentally it says strengthen or support physically or mentally man undergo or suffer Man, it, man, so the Lord is going to strengthen our support physically or mentally when you're undergoing some type of BS. You no, know, going through some suffering. The Lord is going to comfort you and he's going to keep you uh, 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 um, strong-minded if you cast your burdens upon him, though. And don't think that you could get through it your damn self. Cast it upon Yah Bashim Yah Shai and the Lord is going to sustain you, okay? He's going to support you because that's what it says. It says strengthen our support physically or mentally. It says comfort, man, basically comfort you. The Lord going to comfort you, but you got to humble yourself down and cast thy burdens upon him. And, and, and when you're going through something, what do you, what do you, how you cast the, your burdens? I keep saying it. Pray. Pray unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord. Ask the Lord, ask the Lord to help you, whatever you're going through. Okay? And that's how the Lord will sustain you. You staying humble. Okay? Because to keep it real with you, that is being proud. Now, I just thought of that right now. You know, thinking that you could, no, no. If you're going through some shit, man, pray to the Lord, man. Cast it upon the Lord, man. Okay? Because the Lord is the one that puts you through that anyways. The Lord is going to see if you're going to believe that he could take that shit off you. All right? Sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved, man. He ain't never going to. 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, man. Uh, he ain't going to push you to nothing you can't bear, man. All right? Okay? So if you're going through some shit, the Lord just want to see if you're going to humble yourself down and pray to him. Because he knows you could bear it. You know, you can go through it. You know, you got the tools to go through it. So use the tools to go. Use the tools. And what's the tool? Pray. Okay, so the point is made on that. So let me get back to the script. You know. Um, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste to haste thee to flee from these times. Okay, so. Um, now I'm going to go to 2nd Andrew 16. Okay. And we'll start at verse 13. Okay, because this is what we're trying to avoid. Okay, you being prudent, you sticking to the script with Yahweh Shai. This is you, um, this is this is this is what you're gonna avoid. Avoid, avoid, okay? <laughs> putting in that in putting that uh, work in for Yahweh Shai. This is what we're trying to avoid. Okay, this is the benefit of us. Um, okay, let me say it like this: us working, uh, 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 staying prudent. Okay, that's gonna have us avoid this judgment. Okay, Second Andrew sixteen and verse thirteen: For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Okay, and the bow is talking about uh, not a literal bow; it's talking about the ICBMs. Okay, the, uh, the, uh, the into interconnect. I can't remember, but the ballistic missiles. Okay. Some of those, okay, that the energy, the Lord, the energy, uh, the Smith, you know, the scripture is going to the Smith. That's the, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the, um, that's the, uh, that's the uh, ICBM too, okay. That's the Lord, uh, weapon right there. The Lord's spirit is going to be in that, all right. So if you're being prudent and fighting for Yah by Shemel Shai, you're going to be protected because the Lord's spirit is in that, anyways. The Lord is in control and everything. So all you got to do is just be strong for Yah by Shemel Shai. And I keep on saying that, so I'm going to just continue. For strong is his right hand, but you can never say that uh, 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 too much, though. Okay, so I just want to say that. Second Corinthians 16 and verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. 
like I said, the Lord's the Lord's Yahweh Shai spirit is gonna be in that. Yahweh Shai spirit is spirit gonna be in that missile. Okay? It's gonna hit target in perfection. The target perfect is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be bow's eyes everywhere. When they begin to be shot in the ends of the world. Okay, the only way you're gonna avoid that judgment of you getting burnt the fuck up. Okay? Is uh, uh Zephan, no, no Zechariah 14 and 12. No, 12 and 14. Okay, the only uh Damn. I always get that mixed up. Yeah, it's 14 and 12. Okay, let me just read it real quick. Zechariah 14 and verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord Yahweh Shemel Shai will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. And their tongues shall consume away in their mouths. And that's that missile that we were just reading. Okay, that was that bow. Okay. Um, you know, I'm not gonna get the Smith one. You know, you can, brothers you know. Uh, you no, know, you can. You no, know, whoever's watching, I don't know about that. I feel like people should know about that though, cause see what's up with that. But the Smith, that's going into the missiles too. Okay, that's the Lord weapon. All right. Behold, the players are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. Okay. So you only got one chance to make it on this side, man. Okay. So why not take advantage if you got the real Kadash, the Holy Spirit? No, just go hard for y'all by Shemel Shai, cause, man, man, if you're a real man, I'm gonna say if you're a real man, I'm gonna say a real man of the Lord, a real man of the Lord, deep down inside, I don't wanna fucking burn up with this bitch ass place. I don't give a fuck about uh, instant gratification just to get burnt up with this place. Fuck that. Let's just let's just stick to the script. All right. I keep on saying that. Just simple as that. Stick to the script, man. Okay, cause there's only one chance we get the fuck out of here. All right. And the men of the true men of the Lord, man, man, the hundred forty-four thousand, the one third. I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk about the one hundred forty-four thousand, the, the governing body. Man, they going through it now, but man, they got the best thing on the planet, man. You're gonna be with Yahweh Shai, man. Drinking with Yahweh Shai, man. So think about stuff like that, man. Man, um, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consumes the foundation of the earth. So this place is going to get burnt up for a very a very long time. This place is going to get burnt up for a very very long time, okay? Cuz it's the bet that's going to be the best cleansing for Babylon the Great, okay? That's going to be the best cleansing for Babylon the Great. Okay, them the ICBMs, the fire, okay? Um like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer turning not backward, even so the plagues that shall be set upon the earth, it's like it it, so the place that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Okay. Um, you know. So hey, when them missiles are uh, shot off, hey, it's either you did the work, you either either you know you did you did uh, uh you did uh you did what you whatever you did was worthy enough to be saved out of that. And I basically I'm I'm saying what's going to help uh, get you out of that situation, or you was BS and you and it's too late. Okay, the choice the choice is yours. Well, realistically, no, it's not. Keep it. It would be technical. No, it's all predestinated. But if you work with the Rakagadas, you better just go hard. All right. So that's what I'm trying to say. All right. What was me? What was me? Who will deliver me in those days? And if you don't want to be in that type of spirit, um, in that day, you want to be confident in that day. That uh, you got to just keep going hard for y'all about you shy. That's how you're gonna be confident in that day. Okay. Um, cause what was me basically saying destruction, okay? Um, uh, verse third, verse eight, verse eighteen. The beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay, and if you did what you had to do for Yahweh Shemuel Shai before the evils came. Um, you don't really gotta do nothing. You gotta just, you just gotta stick and believe in Yahweh about your mouth shy, and you're gonna be protected as long as you did what you had to do before that time came. Okay, verse 19: Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourge for amendment. Verse 20: But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of scor of the scorn of the scourges. Okay. And that's for you. And, and people like that, you you gonna be you gonna burn up rightfully. You gonna rightfully burnt, be burnt up. 
okay because you didn't want to get right all right and that's a proof right there the lord just because a nigga got a nice car got a bad bitch got money whatever man at the end of the day that nigga is a failure the true winner is the man that's serving y'all by shaman shy okay and listening right now okay and don't want to uh don't do it and basically don't you know, don't be like them people that want to pray to the Lord or cry to the Lord when it's too late. Nah, do it now because you'll be protected in that day. Okay? Verse 21. Behold, visuals shall be so good cheap upon earth. I'm going to tie that in with the the, the um, CH to the I to the P. Okay? The, the, you know what? The, the Karagma. Okay? People going to think it's going to benefit them. Okay? Because this is talking about, you know, stuff being so cheap and stuff like that. And people think everything's going to be straight because, you know, whatever. But I'm going to tie it in with the, the, that. Okay, people going, I'm going to say this, visual shall be good, so, visual shall be so good cheap upon earth, you know, they thought it would be beneficial to take that juicy juice, and no it wasn't, okay, no it wasn't, okay, and the ladder, the ladder on this, uh, the ladder going on more on this, on this scripture is going, uh, this verse is going to uh, explain what I mean, okay, the CH to the I to the P, they're going to think it's beneficial to you, but guess what, they shall think to themselves to be in good case, and even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. So you're going to get your ass whacked anyways if you take that anyways. You took the juicy juice, you threw. Okay? It sounded like it was cool, you know? You know, words smoother than butter, but there's sword drawn in their, in their heart. Okay? But anyways, let me uh, skip down. You know, this video is way longer than I thought. So like you. But, um, hey. Hey, it's just Spirit of the Lord. Verse 38. Verse 30. I'm going to skip down to verse 38. Okay. And it reads. As when a woman with child. Uh, actually, um, because I keep. Uh, I don't. Uh, basically. Um, I'm just going to go into like. Basically, when it, when it. Missile gets shot up. It ain't going to be no turning back. And I already explained. I already explained that. You know, so let me just get to my. My point. I'm going to read verse 39 though. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn. And sorrow shall come upon it on every side. And the only people that's going to be cool, calm, and collected in that day is the man. Uh, uh, is the man that put in that work now. Okay. Because every side. Everywhere you at. In Babylon the Great is going to be dangerous. Where I'm at right now. Whoever's watching this. Where you at right now is going to be fucking dangerous. Deadly dangerous, okay? And the only way you're going to be protected is with Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai protecting you, okay? So, um, verse 40, O my people, hear my word. Make you rattle, it's like it, make you ready to thy battle. And then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth, okay? It says, O my people, hear my word. Make you ready to thy battle. And you studying, you, you, you putting your house in order, you, you, you stick it to the script. That's you making, that's you being ready. That's you getting ready for the battle. All right. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. And if you're doing the work and you, and you doing what you got to do on this side, you're going to be confident enough that the Lord is going to protect you. You don't really got to do nothing. You just got to follow and, 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 and let Yahweh Bashem al Shai guide you. That's the only way you're going to be confident in, in, in that day if you did what you had to do this time, right now. Okay. So I got, let me see, I got a couple more, a couple more, slack it, slack it, slack it. Verse 67, okay. Verse 67, and it reads, um, slack it. Behold, God himself, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, is the judge. Fear him. Hey, so if you're doing what you got to do for Yahweh Bashem al Shai, and, and you pleasing him, he's the judge. So if you're pleasing him, you're going to be straight in that day if you're doing what you got to do on this side. Okay? Leave off from your sins. Okay? Uh, 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 um, oh, let me just continue. And forget your iniquities. To meddle no more with them forever. So shall God, Yahweh Bashem al Shai, lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. You know? Be converted. Do a 180 and stick to that. Okay? And you're going to be straight. Okay? Verse 70. Skipping down to verse 70. Okay? Because it's going to be very, very crazy times. 
Okay? Um, verse 70. For there shall be in every place in the next cities a great extradition upon those that fear the Lord. Okay? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yah, Bashem Yah Shai. And that's why you got to do what you got to do now to keep that strong mindset when this happens. When the truths come through, you know, whatever lot brother has, some uh, truths come through, grab you, whatever. Because certain brothers got to go through that. If you're doing what you got to do right now, when that day comes, you're going to be strong-minded. You're going to know that the Lord's going to got you because you know deep down inside in your soul that you did the most you could do um, uh, for Yahweh Hashem Shai and truth and sincerity, okay? You really, really tried to fight. You put up a fight, okay? Um... For they shall be waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Verse 73. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. And they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So we're going to be tried. And, and, and you going to pass that test if you, obviously part of the elect. But if you put on as the elect, you did what you had to do right now. Right now before that time came. You're going to be tried, but you're going to pass. Okay. You're going to pass. You're going to be like that fine gold. You're going to be going through it. Because gold goes through it. It goes through it. But it's beautified. It's beauty. It's, that's, but you're getting beauty. You're getting beauty, beautified. Beautified. Wait, however you say that. Okay? Okay? At the end of the day, what we, what the men of the Lord goes through, it's all going to beautify us. But the only way you're going to think like that in that day, if you doing what you got to do for the Lord right now, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Shai. So with that, um, now I'm going to close out. No, I'm going to close out with that. Um, you know, uh, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our power. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekha Kadash. Rekha to Yahweh, Rekha to Yahweh Shai, Rekha to Yahweh, Rekha to Yahweh Shai, Rekha to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give all, uh, I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule well. And honors to your brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. With that, I want to say, Kwame Yasharala, a ball, a ball, DTA. Hey, doing what you got to do on this side right now before shit go crazy. It's going to benefit you in that day. And Lord going to keep in mind strong if you're doing what you got to do right now. Okay, you got to believe that. So with that, I want to say Shalom.